At the sound of the last post, they fell silent across the country. A national act of remembrance for those who made the ultimate sacrifice. And in Whitehall, the sight of 10,000 serving personnel and veterans on parade after last year's ceremony was scaled back. At 95, this is the first time D-Day veteran Henry Rice has marched past the cenotaph. Uh, I've always wanted to do it, to be truthful with you. And today, with the spirit of Normandy, uh, I've managed to join in with all these wonderful men. But there are now many far younger veterans, like those who served in Afghanistan, where British operations ended earlier this year as the country fell to the Taliban. And it's important that we continue to, to, to remember those that have gone before us in, in other greater wars, uh, but also those who have lost their life you know, in more recent conflicts as well. And for the first time, the official recognition of LGBT plus veterans in the parade. It's the visibility to show people, look, do you know, uh, the armed forces has always been diverse. It might not have always been inclusive, but it's always been, had that diversity in there. In its centenary year, the Royal British Legion's asking the next generation to remember, like Eliza, who's just learned of her great-great-grandfather's part in the First World War. Very proud, and just to think that he went out into those awful, horrendous places to fight, it's, it's quite touching, really that their bravery and sacrifice and the terrible human cost of war will never be forgotten. Martha Fairley, ITV News.